Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the column and the shear wall. So in this lecture, I am going to differentiate between these two type of the structure members. The first difference is that the column is a structure member used to take the compressive load. So we can say that the column is mostly designed for the compressive load. They are mostly designed for designed for compression or we can say for example let's take this the column in an structural member so they mostly take the load and compression that's why column column sometimes called is the compressive member because mostly the load act on the column is the compressive load they are not mostly designed for the little loads or the sidewise load they take the compressive load and transfer into the another column are to the foundation here while the shear force the shear, the shear walls are mostly designed for the little forces so to resist the little loads means the horizontal load it may be the wind load or the seismic load means the earthquake load so they are designed mostly designed for little loads If I consider this a shear wall, so it will take, it will, it will always be, it will always take the little loads. For example, the load coming from the wind or from the seismic load means the earthquake load. They will take the load and will increase the stiffness of the building. Uh, the shear wall increases the stiffness of the building and take the load and transfer it into the foundation or to the below structure. So the main purpose of the shear wall is to take the little loads while the column designed for the compressive loads. Now the second difference is uh, between the column and the shear force is their cross section. So generally the breadth to width ratio of the column is generally less than 0.4. It means if this is my cross section of the column. So if I consider that this is the breadth of my column and this is the width of my column. So their ratio is generally less than the 0.4. When you divide the breadth or width, you will always get the value of less than 0.4. So this is the mostly uh, mostly ratio used for the column to differentiate the column from the shear wall. While in case of the shear wall, the breadth to width ratio is generally greater than 4.4. This ratio is generally greater than the 0.4. It means my breadth should always be greater than the uh, width by a large amount. You see here that the this ratio is always greater than the 0.4. While in case of the column, this ratio always less than 0.4. The third difference between these two uh, structure member is there is, is that the RC RTC column are less resistant to the earthquake. The columns are less resistant to the earthquake load to the earthquake loads in comparison to that of the shear wall while the shear walls have high earthquake resistance the shear walls have high earthquake resistance and they are mostly designed for the earthquake loads. That's why they have high earthquake resistance in comparison to that of column. The fourth difference is that the columns that the columns are provided are normally provided are normally provided at the ends of the room. At the end of the rooms, you you have always you have always observe that the columns are always provided at the end of the structure or at the end of the rooms, while the shear walls they are quite different from the columns. The shear walls are shear walls always run along the full length of the wall. On the full length of the wall, 
they are not they are not like column which are uh, provided just in one uh, at one end of the structure but they always run along the length of your structure so this is the, this shows the position of the uh, the position of the column and the wall that the columns are provided uh, just at the end of the rooms because uh, they don't have any much high cross section as compared to the shear wall but the shear wall always run along the length of the structure the fifth uh, difference between these two structure member is that the beam column system in which your column is a compressor member beam column system is more efficient and preferred and preferred for low rise structures or low rise structures that means for the low storage building the beam column system is generally uh, preferable to use while in case of the uh, shear wall shear wall system in which you have to provide the shear wall is your primary member shear wall system uh, these are more efficient shear wall system is more efficient and preferred is more efficient and preferred and high rise building and high rise building and this system also have the frame structure like the beams and columns but they have shear wall is their little force system to resist the little forces they provide the shear wall so the shear wall system is more efficient and provided in the high rise building because the high the, the more height of the building the more little loads will act that's why they designed to take the little load while in case of the other system with the low rise building the uh, low multi story buildings the beam column system is efficient to take uh, into consideration hope you guys understand the main difference between the column and the shear wall and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my videos